the summer moon and stars has a place in his heart for me. From the beginning to the end, God will always be my friend. So I can jump and shout, cause God loves me. God's love is big, God's love is great, God's love is fab and He's my mate. God's love surrounds me every day, and I love to sing and say, God's love is big, God's love is strong, God's love goes on and on and on. God's love surrounds me every day, and I love to sing and say, God loves me. Boys and girls and welcome back again to this week's edition of Kids Corner. So first off we're going to have our opening prayer so if you'd like to bow your heads with me. Lord give us two little eyes to look to God, two little ears to hear your word, two little feet to walk in your ways, two little lips to sing your praise, two little hands to do your will and one little heart to love you still. Amen. Now we'll have our first song of this week, which is one of my favourites, and it's Our God is a Great Big God. So thank you very much, Diane, and this is one of our favourites as well. And I'm told now Sophie says we'll look like two lemons and a lime this week, so I don't know what to make of that. Um, but folks, I'm sure this is one of your favourite songs as well, Our God is a Great Big God. Ready girls? Yep. yep. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher. He's higher than a skyscraper. Deeper than a submarine He's wider than the universe Beyond my wildest dreams And he's known me and he's loved me Since before the world began How wonderful to be a part Of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God Great. Love those actions, girls. Fantastic. Now this week we are welcoming Bernie to have the Good Samaritan as our parable. Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about the parable of the Good Samaritan. But before we talk about the parable, I just want to give a wee bit of background information as to where Jesus told this parable. Jesus was with a group of the religious leaders and some of them were trying to test him and trying to ask him some awkward questions. And one of them asked him, how, how, how is the best way to love and how is the best way to get to heaven? And Jesus turned the question back on him and said, well, what do you think? And the man was able to answer and said, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your strength and to love your neighbour as yourself. 
which was, was fine. But then he went on to ask Jesus, who is my neighbour? And Jesus then began this parable to explain that, that to the man. And he went on, he said, there was a man travelling along the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Now the people that he would have been speaking to would have been very familiar with this road. They would have known that it was a very bad road. And when I say bad, I don't mean potholes, they may have been. What I mean was it was a dangerous road, that there was robbers on the road and that it, was, it wasn't a good place to be. And these people would have known that because they may have travelled that road uh, some time. So they, were, he, 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 they could see the picture of where, of where this man was. And he was travelling along the road and he was set upon by thieves and, and, and robbers. And they beat him, they stole his belongings, they ripped his clothes and they left him lying along the side of the road in a very, very bad state very bad state. Sometime later a priest was travelling along that road and he saw the man lying at the side of the road. He went over and then he turned and went across, across the, the road and went on on his way and he didn't stop to help him at all. Next there was a Levite who passed along that way and this was another person who worked on the temple. He saw the man lying across the, on the side of the road he went over and again did the same thing, crossed away and away on, on down the road. Now some time after this, a man from Samaria came along. Now the Samarian people and the Jewish people didn't really get on. They didn't like each other one little bit. But this man from Samaria came along and saw the man lying at the side of the road. He went over, he knelt down. He took out some oil that he had in his possessions and he started to clean the man's wounds. Then he wrapped a coat, his coat around him, he lifted him onto to his donkey and he took him off to the nearest inn. And there, through the night, he tended the man, he t they tended his wounds and the next day he gave the innkeeper some money to look after the man and said if he needed more when he came back he would give it to him. Now, Jesus went back to the, to the crowd and said and asked the question, which one of these men was the true neighbour? And I'm sure some of the men that, were, that had been asked that question were maybe uh, a bit embarrassed or a bit shamed, um, but it was obvious. And one man mumbled in, in the, the, at the end, the one who showed compassion. And Jesus gave them a bit of advice then. He says, go and do the same. Now how difficult do you think that small sentence is? Go and do the same. And today in 2020 we ask ourselves, what does that story mean to us? What does that parable mean to us today? And we, we have to all ask ourselves, boys and girls, mammies and daddies, big people and small people, we have to ask ourselves, are we a good neighbour? Who are we a good neighbour to? Are we a good neighbour to only the people we know, to only the people we like? Or like the Samaritan, are we a good neighbour to people who we don't know, who we've maybe never met before? Are we a good neighbour to them? And do we show compassion in our everyday life like, this, like the Samaritan? That's a big question to ask for mammies, daddies, boys and girls. But it was the question, it was what Jesus said for the people to do. Go and do the same. And maybe in a small way or in big ways, people can do that. It could be something as simple as praying for people who we know are, are having difficulties. It could be praying for boys and girls in war-torn lands. There's lots of different ways that we can be a good neighbour to those around us, to our family and friends, and to those who are living far away. And that's the challenge we have today. So throughout the week and in the days ahead, maybe you can stop and think and ask yourself, how can I be a good neighbour? How can I be a good Samaritan and do what Jesus asked? Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you, Bernie. That was absolutely fantastic. So based on that, this week we're setting you the challenge of being the good Samaritan in your home. So we're going to have a random act of kindness week. So let us know what you get up to. 
tell us about it or send us in some pictures so that we can add it into the end of next week's episode. Now also thank you for last week's as well, they were fantastic. So now we're going to have our memory verse again. So same as last week, it's Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 and it's set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. So set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Now we're going to have our next song of the week which is This Little Light of Mine and we want to see Jesus lifted high. So thank you Diane and thank you to Bernie for teaching us all about the Good Samaritan. And the Good Samaritan was somebody who cared for others and let other people see his love. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to be Good Samaritans that shine our lights for Jesus so that other people may see his goodness and then turn to him. So we're going to sing, well, what are we going to sing girls? This little light of mine. This little light of mine. So it's such smiley faces as well. <laughs> so um, we'll get our lights going. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of to see Jesus lifted high so you remember girls so we want to see Jesus lifted high like a banner that flies across the land that all men might see the truth and know that he is the way to heaven and then we do we want to see bop, 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 we want to see bop, 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 okay and the my favorite bit so do step by step we're moving forward little by little we're taking ground every prayer yeah a powerful weapon Strongholds come tumbling down. That's my favourite bit there. So, so here we go.
We want to see. We want to see Jesus live and We want to see. We want to see. We want to see Jesus live and Step by step, we're moving forward. Little by little, we're making ground. Every prayer of powerful weapon, strongholds come tumbling down and down and down and down. We want to see Jesus lifted high. The banner that flies across this land. Little men might see the truth and know he is a way. We want to see, we want to see Jesus living high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus living high. Step by step we're moving forward, little by little we're taking round. Every prayer, powerful weapon, strongholds come, jumble. time of the week again where we have our closing prayer so if you'd like to close your eyes and bow your head and we'll have our prayer be near me Lord Jesus I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me I pray bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there amen fantastic guys see you all next week